Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and check it out. We are getting into screen printing. Friends, it's time to unbox it, so let's get cracking. So as we dive in, this is from Xtool. It mentions effortless art printing with a laser. It is the basic kit and I'm aiming to create tutorials to show you how to use it in a school situation. External box out of the way. Once again, that helps with shipping. Cut through the straps. This one has got a lid that we can lift off. We've got a large box. I'm going to set this aside and open it on the table in a moment. Foam protector. More foam protector. This is the actual press. It is quite heavy. I'm going to lift it out of here and set it aside. And it's got the little parts that I believe are going to tighten up our screens. These would be the same, but for the long sides, we've got our squeegee for pushing in ink and of course a spatula for adding paint we have got a test screen for getting started we have got the screen printer user manual lots of information and lots of pictures in there that's pretty awesome also many languages we've got the x tool frequently asked questions we'll make sure we check that out these are tiny stickers that you can attach so that it always lines up the same way. This looks like paper we can actually work with. This is a packet of the screening material that we can use. This is a sample bag that we can put a logo on. A cutting mat. This is the actual piece that attaches on for us to make our screen prints with. Here we have our colors. It comes with five colors. We have got a blue, a red, black, glitter gold, and yellow. And then finally, this is the tool for adding our screens. Those little clips push in to give it the strength, and then these are the levers that pull it tight. Friends, right there you have a basic screen printer operation that we're gonna use with a laser. How cool is that? Real quickly, looking at the list, these are called fixing pins, and this one is a cutting mat. Should keep the storage box. Once again, ink, spatula, screens. Find the cardboard. I showed you the canvas bag and the sticker fact. And now we're in the user manual. On this page, we've got the screen printer, the magnetic board that you saw me attach a moment ago, and 11 and a half by 16 frame. Let's start out by getting the screen mounted. This is the side that will be up later. Right now, we need to flip it over and get access to these grooves. Find the top of the bag with the screens. That looks like it's going to be resealable, which is pretty cool. And when you pull out a screen, there's a cardboard, there's the screen, and there's some tape. All right, I'm going to highlight again that all this is in the manual, but this is the cardboard. It's going to go side down. Do notice that this end does not have the locking. It's just the sides and that end that are going to tighten our screen. Making sure we've got these pins in. Now we can put the cardboard down in the groove. They highlight that they want the cardboard all the way down in the groove. So you can hear it rubbing on those edges. Now we can grab our fixing pins. Once again, there are four of these. Two long ones and two short ones. And then I'm going to put this on this side. Notice I'm tucking this in ahead of time so that it's got to start on that groove. And then I'm simply going to push this down and lock it in just like that. Repeat on the other side. Notice I'm reaching over here and finding that groove. You can tell it's past that loop. Getting it started. But I figure the better I start it, the more likely it is to work. Once again, straight up and down, and then the edge goes out. Got my groove. Same thing down on this end. Once again, I'm pushing it in to get it started. It's got it relatively straight up. You'll feel it snap when you've got it right. You'll notice I've spun this around so I can get a better look at it. I've got my grooves in there. I start this straight up and down, and then when you lock it in, 
it snaps in place just like that. Now we can grab these levers and when we pull them in, it stretches everything tight. And check it out. You can test that it's taut and everything's straight and we're ready for laser cutting. Now that we've got that tightened, we can reach back here and find these little pieces right here to pull the cardboard out. All right, so if this sticks, you can get your fingernail under it and just peel that back so that it removes the way that it's supposed to. Of course, if you're having struggles with that, you can also get it damp as you peel it off. All right, friends, so with that removed, obviously this is tight like it's supposed to be, and now we're ready to do the magic part of making our design. This is what is so awesome about this. You used to have to develop these. It would take more than a day to actually get your screen ready to be used. We're gonna be able to do this with a laser cutter in a fraction of that time. Going to be working with Lightburn. I do not have an X-Tool laser, so I'll be launching my Adezer. It is the P10. It is a 10 watt laser. And friends, we're gonna use a design that I've already got. It is the HL Mod Tech logo. No words, so you can see it just has the HL Mod Tech. And it has the YouTube image, not the words. That makes it a little bit of an easier project. As far as cuts and layers, we're gonna have the whole item be filled. And then the speeds that I found after some trial and error, we want 1300, I'm using 35% power, and I used 0.1 for the interval. If I click real quick on preview, you can see that is what the design is going to look like. I do also want to highlight that we've got to flip it horizontally or mirror it. It is this easy to make that happen. When I made this design, you can see it is 130 millimeters or 13 centimeters. I'm going to use that size as I'm just going to put this over a pocket on my design. All right, friends, so there is a test screen that is sent so that we can get our settings figured out. This is proof that you really want to figure them out. So these are the numbers I used. I like how that one turned out. This was close. This one's a bit better. Friends, let me show you how we set that up. I will highlight this is what happens when you don't test it ahead of time. Live and learn. And then also I want to show you this technique I've got for lining mine up. If I slide this back and flat, that'll help me keep it so the design is square to the laser. Let's get the height lined up. First, I'm gonna loosen this and raise it quite a bit. Now I'm gonna use the move command to nudge it out. Notice if I shift nudge, it goes quite a bit faster. Notice I'm flipping down the cake stand to get the height of our other lasers where you'll have a piece of acrylic that gets your height correct. Whatever is the technique for your laser, simply line it up and you want it so that it's just touching. You don't want it to be scratching, you just want it to be just touching so you've got that height correct. Now I'm going to move out to where I want to put this on the screen. Once again, I'm going to go shift nudge. Right there I ran to the back of it, so I'm going to come back a couple clicks. And I'm going to go left a couple clicks, making sure that I leave about an inch in each direction. I'm going to choose to work from the top left corner because of the way I've got it oriented. And let's see if this fits by clicking frame. <laughs> it is going to come right up to the edge of that mark I made earlier. I'm going to just do control left to micro nudge a couple clicks over. And of course, grab some safety glasses and let's make something magical. Now this ended up with a glitch, so we'll just skip to the very end of it. All right, so real quickly, I liked those settings, but something happened in the middle. We had a glitch where that did not run again. This one took an hour and a half. I set up new settings. As you can see, these did work, but I had to run it three times. So something I learned was as soon as it was finished, I came out and looked. If there were parts that didn't run right, I just ran it again. Still ended up taking three times or an hour and a half, but this one turned out clean. Of course, I'll share the settings in the corner of the video. 
All right, friends, we have got our design. Now we can open this up and remove the packing material on both sides. Cut through those zip ties as well. Now we can take our design, flip it over, slide it in, and of course, lock it in place. All right, everybody, so I have just figured out that the way we slide the shirts on, I could have flipped mine vertically so that it would line up accurately as well. Currently, my design is aimed the wrong way. I'm gonna take this out and we're simply gonna flip it around. We would take these off and store them anyway if it was a design we had made. So I'm just doing that before I actually use it. Of course, we repeat the process once we loosen it. Take out the little snap-in adapters. We don't have the nice piece of cardboard in there. As you can see, this still snaps in. But we can simply repeat that process, slide them in, and snap it back in place in no time. Let's lock the mechanism back in. Once again, this is easy peasy. Snap, snap. My first test is just going to be on a piece of cardboard. I'm going to slide that in. And slide that in and lock it in place. Now it'll lift up and we can add our paint. All right, because we've got the YouTube logo, we're going to go with red. Pull off the protective color. Try and keep all that paint inside. Let's put some paint up here. I'm going to do it backwards because of the way I've got this laid in here. Now we're going to use the squeegee to flood that in. Pulling it all the way back. And let's do that again all the way back. So now we have got paint in that area. And we're going to pull this back one more time to add it to the piece of cardboard. Even pressure. And check it out, friends. There it is, the HL Mod Tech logo. As you can see, it pushed out a little bit. Super crisp down here, so I'll keep working on my technique. But oh my gosh, we are screen printing. I will mention that the ink is water-based, so you can see cleanup is pretty easy. I'm going to do this one more time. We're going to still use the cardboard just because, doggone it, it's free and it's a great way to practice. Let's reuse any ink we can. I'm going to just scrape this back down. Felt like I had tons of ink left right there. And let's flood it again. So I'm gonna pull some that way. Once again, I've got that flooded. Now I can see the ink all the way through. And let's transfer it with one even pull. Not quite perfect yet, but progress being made. All right, so we are gonna put this on the back of an old t-shirt of mine. I had to scrunch it up to fit it in there. I'm gonna cover this with a paper towel just as we get the height adjusted. This is thinner than the other one. Once again, loosen. That's gonna press right there. Bring it up. Got my squeegee mounted so it's easy to grab in a moment. And this time I'm gonna do all the ink down here. Let's flood it. I think that looks good. Let's bring it down into place and now let's transfer that design. One even pull. 
and let's lift and see what we made. To help the ink dry, I hit it with a heat gun for about 30 seconds. It is recommended that you let designs dry at least 48 hours before washing. I'm still working on my skills, but of course I will keep you posted. Friends, as you can see, I have got a lot to learn, but of course, I will be sharing that with you as I grow. Right now, I'm going to end by visiting the Make Block website. It is here that you will find the awesome Xtool screen printing kit. If we jump down here and we click on the link, as you can see, friends, they've got a bundle for your entire classroom. You get the laser and you get the screen printing kit. Since I already had my own laser, I was able to just snag the screen printing kit. And bingo, I am on my way way to becoming a screen printer. Friends, of course, there's a ton of amazing information on their website, and of course, you can ask questions of me as well. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below, and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.